Are you ready for some good news? All in Christ are a holy nation. Today's text is familiar words from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession. Everyone in Christ is holy. Holy means set apart, and that's what you are in Christ. Holiness isn't a reference to your personal piety, as important as that may be. It isn't a description of your religiosity or righteousness or morality. To be holy means to be set apart unto God. You belong to Him. It means there's nothing about you that is ordinary or mundane. My brother recently had the avid golfer's dream come true. He played the world-famous Augusta National Golf Club, home of the Masters. I lived it vicariously through him as he recounted the day hole by hole. And his Christmas present to me that year was from the Augusta Pro Shop. See, they don't sell those kind of hats anywhere except the Augusta National Pro Shop. So that hat that he gave me is set apart from the dozens of other golf hats I own. I don't wear it in the rain. I don't do yard work in it. Why? Because it's not just any hat. That's the idea of holiness in the Bible. In ancient Israel, if a vessel was holy, it meant it was only to be used in the service of the Lord, the temple. If such a vessel were misused, it didn't cease to be holy. For example, when Babylonian king Belshazzar commanded that the holy vessels that were stolen from Jerusalem be brought into Belshazzar's drunken festival, and they drank from those holy vessels and desecrated them, the vessels didn't cease to be holy. In fact, that's what makes the story of the handwriting on the wall so powerful. In Christ, you are holy.